And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to put text on a circle. You might want to pause the video here and there because I have to jump back and forth between the layers and the paths menu and it might get confusing if you're new to this. But at first we just need the ellipse tool. So ellipse select short keys E. If you drag you can create ellipses but if you hold shift it's going to be perfect circle. You can also adjust the position and the size right here and if you want to have a circle obviously you want to have height and width the same size so let me set it to 700 times 700. We can adjust the position of the text later on anyway so don't worry too much about that but we definitely want to have a perfect circle. And now we need the paths menu. You can find it right here and if you don't see it go to windows, dockable dialogs and click on paths. You want to click on this one or right click selection to path so it's the same. My tooltips are a little bit low so that you can't see it, but it's called a selection to path. Let me just right click in this menu and then I use it with a left click. And now our circle is a path, it's called selection here. I'll go back to the layers menu, use the type tool, left click on it, type in some text. You can adjust it here, just make sure that you press Ctrl A so that everything is selected. You can give it a different color, a bigger size, whatever. Make it italic. I'll just stick to it the way that it is by default. Now I right click on this text layer and I use this function text along path and you can see the outline right here. Switch back to the paths menu. So the selection was our circle and we rename that. And the text is this other element. Now we want to select that but don't just select it like this. At first we need to deselect the circle. So go to select none. Then right click on your text in the paths menu and use path to selection. Make this invisible and you can see the selection of the text. I'll switch back to the layers menu and create a new layer. Let me call that circle text. It's important that it's transparent. And now we can pick a color right here. I'll stick to black. And simply go to edit and fill with foreground color. So this text is now on this circle and it's black. And we can adjust the position or rotate it for example. Just left click on it and I'll put it somewhat to the top of our circle. Let me use the angle right here and the arrow keys and not the slider. And I think that's somewhat on top. So let's just say you want to flip this so that it's at the bottom and you can still read it. We need to go back to our paths first, there's still the circle and we need to flip this path. So what we need to do now is let me make this invisible and I create a new layer first for our flip text. Once again it's transparent, that is important. And now I go to my paths, as I've said I've got the circle active. And I go to this toolbox, use flip. We want to have it vertical and I believe by default transform is set to layer. And we want to have it set to path and then just left click on your canvas. It looks like nothing has happened but the circle has actually been flipped or the path of this circle. Now let's go back to our layers menu. Here's our text, so the original one. I right click on it and I add once again text along path. And you can see it, it's now flipped. Let me go back to the paths menu and here is the flip text. Let me rename it. And the one on top, this was the circle text which is not flipped. So by flipping the circle we have now flipped the text. We can right click on it, path to selection, make it invisible in the paths menu. Switch back to layers, edit fill with foreground color. Let me press shift ctrl a to deselect and now you can see both of these text elements and obviously we can rotate the second one also. Let me do that so that it's somewhat at the bottom and that's it. This is how you can create this circle text in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.